Cowboy Jim, uh, Fort McMurray, Alberta, Canada. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I I rewatch all my videos. Eh? Uh, I've done seven today. Mm, this is number three hundred. 28, I think. Um, I have uh, invested my heart, soul, spirit. Well, hey, hey, geez, I've been divorced three times. Mm, I've been attacked by a mountain lion. I shot her day at 18 feet as it was getting ready to jump on my cousin, and I thank God my cousin was there. No one ever believes what I say, anyways. Ah, but my cousin, oh, geez, he believed. <laughs> I walked out into the front yard of uh, 355 Cornwall Drive, Fort McMurray. I was sitting talking to my son in the truck, and I said, Oh, shoot, a bear just went by. And he said, Really? I said, Yeah, no, oh, about 250. Not a big bear, black bear. And I said, can you believe, can you believe it? That bear walked right up onto the front step of the house next door and started to nuzzle the door. And then it came down when the door, it couldn't push it open. And I went to the next one and the next one. I told my son, I said, listen, some, some little kid's going to open the stupid blessed door. It's going to be lunch for what is called an habituated deer, uh, bear. I've been kicked by a deer. That it was habituated as well, but nonetheless, oh, jeez, oh, my. Well, my son, I said, listen, I have a little can of bear spray in the door of my truck. I haven't used it. I've owned it for about two plus years. I said, I may just take that and try to get in front of the bear, see if I can introduce myself to it before some kid gets killed, eaten. And he said, oh, sure, Dad. Go for it. My son does not vote any confidence in me that's okay hey he's a big kid I mean he's only 48 go figure anyways so I got in front of the bear and I introduced myself to it and it ran at me and I, I would drop to my knees and I'd get ready to shoot it with some bear spray. I didn't know if the can would work, and I... Anyways, it doesn't matter. I had fun. Children, when you, <laughs> when you shoot a bear that's running at you flat out as hard as it can go from about mm, 16 feet, and you hit it, with a, a can of bear spray that doesn't work, kind of worked, not much. You appreciate the idea that your life doesn't count for much, but that what you do with your life counts for a lot. Okay, let's leave the wildlife alone. Let me tell you, children, when a mountain lion comes out on the trail and you're sitting with your second, no, best cousin and all you have left in life is four, five, six seconds. You rise up because, <laughs> because <laughs> there's 
nothing left for you to do. You just aim the crossbow, keep it centered on the chest of the mountain lion until that mountain lion gets so close it's going to hopefully plant its feet and then jump on you and kill you and you put an arrow in that thing's chest at 18 feet. It's not as good as six. <laughs> With a woman to whom you have given your heart, your all, your everything, but children, it's pretty close, but it's not. It's pretty close. It's not. Okay? Okay, for the record. We are watching uh, the world uh, go to hell in a handbasket. Oh, gee whiz, do I like that expression. That's what we're watching. We're watching politicians say, oh, geez, geez, geez. You only hope wear a mask, get vaccines. Help us retire. Well, because we own shares in every vaccine mask company in the world. Oh, 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 geez. The science changed. Did it? No, it didn't. But the governments of the world decided, hey, there are bigger fish to fry. Who? What? Where? When? Why? W5. Oh, my. Up here in Canada. Hey. You think you are... Hey. I am the closest thing in the world to being a man who lives on an island by himself. It's not my choice, eh? It's not. But I am. But it's not my choice. I gave my choice, my heart, away a few year, a year ago. So this present state of mind, it's, it's not my choice. But we are watching the approaching gates of hell in light of scripture, a creator, oh, children, screw off, not religion, Jew is, not, not denominationalism, not religion. But we are watching end times. I've studied it for a long time. Revelations. Last 10 chapters, 15. Zechariah, the last two or three. Chapters, I say, everyone, every Old Testament book going points at this God loves you so much so that he could say with a straight face, important for John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus said, oh, he is the one who is purported to be the son of God by his own word. Interesting, by God's word, creator, of this 
whole universe. When John the Baptist was um, baptizing Jesus, when John looked at Jesus, John indicated that this was the son, was the son of the living God, who taketh away the sin of the world. John baptized him. John said, he he saw the Holy Spirit of God descend upon the Son of God, Jesus. There was a giant voice. Hey, I have a pretty good voice, eh? My stepson tried to choke me to death. Hey, he crushed my voice box. Hey, I, 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 I did sound pretty manly before. Uh, God said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Children, you are watching evil and work in our world. And that evil wants to cause you fear, worry about one, too many vaccines, not enough, not enough boosters. I don't have any boosters. I guess I missed out on 17 uh, boosters on in a row. How do you ascertain what it is that you choose to believe? In simplicity or in complexity? You hear all the drivel, potent, Xi Jinping, Putin, Nancy Pelosi, shift, lion shift, John Kerry, oh dear Lord God in heaven, thank God he's not a conservative, Justin Trudeau, how do you get around all this? How do you ascertain for yourself what it is that is correct, right, proper, decent, good? So you haven't taken time to read scripture? Uh, are you alive? Question, are you alive? Do you yet breathe? Well, you have hope. Mm, only if you use the time you have. Are we going to die? Sure, everyone's going to die. When? Well, we're not sure. It's a good thing. You going to um, think about anything other than going to work, getting fed, going to sleep, getting laid? It's a very tender subject for me <laughs> because I believe that God gave us the honor and the privilege of giving our heart and soul to another in the purity of dedication to each other, love, honor, respect. And the greatest gift that God has ever shown us is to love. Hey, you may not understand this. <laughs> I understand. A man needs to be respected. A woman needs to be loved. 
What a culmination of joy if both can be attained unto in one relationship between two people who love the other more than they love themselves. You want to be at peace with God? Say this simple prayer, God forgive me. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I am so sorry. Help me, help me, help me to be what you want me to be. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It's another prayer comes right alone. God, I don't have a blessed clue whether you're real or not. But if you are, I choose to believe in you. If you're not, I don't. But if you are, teach me your ways. Help me to understand who and what you are. Why did you love us so much? If you're real, why did you love us so much? Jesus took my place on the cross for my sins that I might have life. Oh, children. I am a very, very old man. But, oh, dear Lord God in heaven, he has given me life. God bless you. Consider my Lord and Savior. Don't become religious. Think about it. You could. Find someone to love more than you love yourself. God bless. God bless. Amen and amen. Hmm.